So how do you configure the autonomous database and IAM integration so that IAM users can authenticate and authorize to the autonomous database? Well, the first step is to enable the autonomous database for IAM integration, and that's through a single command. Uh, it's one of those DBS cloud admin commands, enable external authentication, and set that to OCI IAM. And as part of that, it'll enable the resource principal session token for the autonomous database if that hasn't already been enabled before, and set some parameters within the autonomous database uh, so uh, it knows where uh, to locate the IAM endpoints. The next step is to create an IAM policy to allow users to access the autonomous database. And you can have uh, follow the regular IAM policy syntax. You can allow any user. You can allow a group of users. Um, and uh, uh, it can be a tenancy or at the compartment level. Once you do that, you need to create groups in IAM that will match to shared schemas in the autonomous database and or global roles in the autonomous database. In this use case, we're going to have a, uh, a DBA that's going to access a shared schema with all other users, and it's going to have extra privileges because uh, this user is a DBA, and that'll be through another group called DBA, uh, DB admin. And you add the user to the groups. And if you're using the uh, password verifier mechanism to log in, you'll need to create the database password in IAM. If you're using the token base access, you don't need to set the, the database password. Then you need to create the shared schema in the database and map that to the group, all DB users. And you'll notice the syntax here, create user, the user shared. This indicates, uh, and, and the identify globally indicates that it's going to be mapped to uh, an external directory. And you'll notice within the single quotes, you've got IAM group name equals all DB users. So DBA Deborah, when she logs into the autonomous database, uh, will land, it, it use the global schema user shared. And because she's a DBA, she's also in the DB admin group. And that's going to be mapped to the global role, senior DBA role. And that's the same format, create role, senior DBA role, identify globally and in indicating a mapping to the directory. So global roles cannot be granted to a schema, it only can be mapped to a group in the directory service. And the same uh, single quote surrounding uh, the group name equals DB admin. So that's what you need to do for the uh, autonomous database and IAM. There will be other videos for some of the common client use cases like SQL plus in a variety of situations and there will be additional videos as well. So keep looking, watching the space uh, to uh, get additional videos.